Uh, I'm going to respond to this article here. If you ever heard a voice that wasn't there, this could be why. Voice, did you hear the voice that was not there? And this could be why. This is actually, for a lot of people, a big, big misconception that psychiatrists would abuse and eventually label people as mentally ill. Uh, the thing about it is that the answer about this stuff is in a question. I know there is a way to get it done, whatever. What is this shit here? LSD, sensory deprivation chambers instead of that. Okay, yeah, but there is something else here that I need to discuss about this question. Uh, I was even warned by the people who participate in Makyotra to be very careful with issues stating that you can hear voice, uh, voices and stuff like that, you know. And um, the girl that was inside of the psychiatric hospital, when they hospitalized me in 2015, uh, she had that kind of problem. Uh, she claimed that she, she heard people also do voices and stuff like this, okay. All right, let me tell you something. Um, how that would be possible that person would hear voices? Uh, I, w I, I was going to give you a feedback on this issue, but the first thing is first, and this is basically what I started the subject. If you ever heard a voice that wasn't there, uh, this could be why this and that and that. And that. Um, first, a little bit about MKUltra. Uh, how dangerous this stuff can be, all right? I'm looking for a random item right now. Um, all right, I can get an item here that says what was involved in MK Ultra. One, uh, I got two. All right, I'm just going to take one. Everything inside of this room, inside of this house, was involved in MK Ultra. Everything. This was the item that was involved in MK Ultra. This was one of the items that Pepco made available to police before. I don't precisely know since when we are here in Novo Mesto City, but. Uh, this was one of the items they played with during MK Ultra, this kind of item. And the item was damaged. I video recorded police, planted me brand new damaged inside of the store, damaged item items, and sold to me as brand new. I exactly according to MK Ultra scenarios. Um, when I consider number of the people here, when I consider all kinds of issues they involve in MK Ultra, and especially issues that are hurtful, um, It's interesting how the brain operates. That's why I think it's very, very important video, this video about hearing voices in the head. Because the answer itself is is hiding in a in a in, in, in a first sentence. Voice that's not there. Have you ever heard voice that's not there? Um it all depends. If you are subjected to MK Ultra, it all depends on your IQ, whether, how your memory, how colorful is your memory, how the ability of your memory, what your brain can produce, how, how deep into what exactly detail, to what extent your brain can zoom into a certain incident. Uh, if you are sharp, 
probably i don't know how is with the other people but if you are sharp maybe you don't have to be sharp i've seen these people from hollywood they know how to imitate other people uh probably you don't have to be sharp it's it's you don't have to be i haven't seen any i don't think i think anybody can do this if they pay attention to you, they concentrate anybody can go and imitate people i don't think it's it's a big deal it's the matter of training it's a matter of concentration just like anything else you do in life uh if you if you concentrate on if you want to do something you can you know it's always improvement uh persistence that makes something more perfect there's no such thing as perfect thing uh but here's the thing if i zoom my god if i fucking zoom 50 years back in time when i was two years old or one years old i can imitate the voices of the people that subjected me to mk ultra i don't know what that means if it's anything special i don't think it's anything special i think we we have all the same brain it's just a matter of uh the circumstances and stuff like that but i can do this as for the police officer not only i can repeat the words stated to me i can eventually go and imitate his voice the way he stated i can eventually go and imitate exactly uh tone exactly the threatening exactly the type of bullying exactly the type of issues that he involved in it actually a lot of personal frustration these people suffer from uh i can do this i can go and i can literally replicate uh the stuff like this as for the voices if i hear voices voices that aren't here i don't think that such a thing exists i don't think that anybody can hear voices that aren't here unless there is somebody projecting voice in the school technology using uh or you are on drugs uh you have suffered some kind of brain injury i would say it is impossible that you would hear voices it's actually anatomically i think impossible thing to do they would have to probably deprive you greatly of your mm, i don't know which part of the brain exactly is it in charge to uh i shouldn't talk about this stuff because i don't know it but brain i didn't study i should say i did not study this stuff brain is just really sophisticated uh, the most sophisticated organ we have we don't have anything more sophisticated than human the major difference between all other species is not only size of the brain forget about that but complexity uh, the ability to respond to discern you know this is the meaning of the brain is to discern this is all there is to it uh the main thing about the brain the iq of the brain is to have the ability to discern basically uh more than between the colors more than between shapes uh the question is how far how much you can discern this to me is the definition of the brain this is what this is what the brain are made of this is the meaning of the brain this is the main thing then based on all that it's what breaks everything down into smaller and even smaller details and micro details and the incredible ability to to 
uh, you know, to project a picture to yourself, impression, therefore, about something. This is this is what brain do. Uh, that you would hear voices that aren't here. If I would hear voices that aren't here, I would go insane. That's when I would really go insane. That's when probably I would go and turn the fucking house uh, upside down. I could not stand um, something that is present and would not know uh, what the source of that thing is. I don't give a fuck if you put the camera in my face and you flash me with a camera 24-7 and the whole world is doing, washing or whatever you're doing. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't give a damn about that. I don't even care if there is a... They use a lot of stuff to annoy it, including sound, harassment, and stuff like that. As long as I know where is it coming from, uh, the ambulance vehicles, there was a guy who told me it's going to be a lot of people going to lose a job. There was a lot of people involved, and they don't know the drivers itself. They don't know where they're going to get the next job. It's all kinds of stuff that they became people, ambulance drivers, they became agitated about that was sold. It made somewhat me what I stated when I hear the sirens and so on, it made, it made me somewhat maybe comfortable, maybe comforted, not comfortable, absolutely not. Um, so there are different ways to help yourself if there is something that bothers you. Uh, you can find maybe the easing circumstances that are gonna help you to cope, something that will not go away. Um, but it's a must to know where is what is and so on. So that people would hear voices, and they would hear voices and stuff. Um, no, I, in the head, I would say that's like a very, very, very serious, uh, very, 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 very serious. Uh, yeah. In Slovenian language, you say okvara. Uh, I don't like to use the word error yeah, because it's more of a technical part of the brain, hardware, uh, that deserves attention. And how that will you possibly fix if it's a hardware? Um, first, I think if you do have such a problem with voices in your head, uh, what I would do is I would myself I would I would probably go and test and see if there is anything that comforts me any kind of music anything that relaxes anything that that helps me basically uh, you know sort the things out. Then the second thing I would say is that if you do have a, such a problem, a lot of exercise I think will make a whole a lot of difference for you. Uh, then I would go and check what kind of exercise. Is it power exercise? Is it definitely cardiovascular? You can never go wrong. Uh, would go and, and try some IQ challenging questioners, train myself, uh, sharpen my brain to see what difference do I feel, what is it, and I would investigate to what exactly is has such a big impact on me uh, if I would have this. Of course, I don't have it so that that I could stop this type of uh, problem from recurring. Um, maybe, you know, in an article, they suggest something about LSD and so they say, maybe you need to check, check maybe even the source of the food that you have at home. Roommates, maybe you have, I have no idea. Are you by yourself? Uh, where, what is it with, with your fridge? I mean, and stuff. Do people go inside in there when you're absent from home? Maybe you want to try and buy some food 
completely away, eat one straight from the supermarket, whatever. Um, you know what I mean? To see if that's going to make any difference for you, because it's a very, very serious problem. Uh, I heard that uh, people say that, or ask me, or say if I hear voices. Uh, this is fucking insane. This is bizarre. Uh, already asking such a question, it's it's like not that that it was not applicable to me because it was all a setup, but um, literally by the people also involved who were asking me those questions. Um, for the people who do have that kind of problem, however, it's a very serious issue. You should not tolerate. You can tolerate a lot of stuff. Uh, you can adjust yourself to a lot of things, uh, but know that the most sensitive, the most important thing in a human body, really, the most, the, the, the most priceless in a human body, really, is bread. It's all really our brain. So that's all I want to say. I don't know anything about the chambers and LSD and that kind of stuff. I have no fucking idea about that. Uh, during MK Ultra, I can tell you, I've never had any kind of delusions, any kind of, I never heard any voices that weren't there. Uh, never, ever anything like this happened. I, uh, even for the stuff that was, that I suspected was uh, a rather a setup through LSD and such a stuff. It was not, it was actually real. Um, psychiatrists involved in it, in literally through MK Ultra procedures, suggested me uh, not only psychiatrists but people whom they have used uh, were asking me maybe if it's LSD or something, if they ever use the LSD and so on and so forth. Not that I would be aware of. Maybe there might have been instances where they did use the LSD, but I'm not aware of any instances like this. I have, uh, thanks God, a memory that I can go and I can imitate my aunts uh, back when I was one year old, two year old, with some literally leaving home on the other side of Slovenia when I was four years old. My grandfather, all I got to do is I got to pay attention to it. And I'm right there. And that's basically how it goes. I can do this stuff like that. Uh, to me, it's it's good. I disbelieve that other people could not do the stuff like this. Uh, and... I don't think you need even to do much exercise for you to do the stuff like this. Use so much concentration. It's just, it doesn't come to you immediately, but when you start to think about the person uh, and about the incident, it, you kind of, if the person was in your life, you kind of, it's like, it starts to feel like not only you were there with him, uh, but the voice itself, the spectrum of the voice, of the human voice, uh, this is just something well, pretty much everything is, but the voice itself also is a window into, into the soul of the human being. You have a capacity through voice also to detect view a human being from inside, inside of his brain, what is exactly what's happening, and so on. You, you, you should have that kind of capacity, at least. So, it's a little bit bizarre, the stuff that, why nobody's writing, nobody's talking about the stuff like this, for instance. Why are they talking about Basically, they're talking about the problems without pointing out the solutions. That's what I'm trying to say. 
they they point to certain problems and there's no there's no solution to it man it's like we should take the shit for granted and stuff like that okay so when you hear your voice in your head when you have a voice in the head you know god help you you know uh i don't think so i don't think so i think that you have to find the answer to it and help yourself that's all that's all my uh 10 minutes of 20 minutes of about voices in the head never heard any kind of voices in the head that wouldn't be here uh but i can zoom and literally imitate voices of people that i encountered with during mkr try i can do that um and as i stated if i would have heard voices in my head that would be here i should say it doesn't matter it wouldn't be here but if i would not have the explanation for them as per where how fuck, that would drive me crazy that's like seeing a fucking ghost it's not good uh that's a real trouble that's a real 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 trouble that's like not knowing whether you were that you placed someplace or somebody else did uh that kind of stuff is not good now you can afford to ignore this kind of stuff just like let's say soldiers let's say in a war uh they must ignore certain things they lose <laughs> you're not gonna go and search for the certain things you're not gonna waste time on uh, i don't know certain things but there are other things that you can afford to make a mistake with it's all the matter of priorities basically uh but hearing voices that aren't there and stuff like this that aren't here or there or wherever you are that is a that's a badass thing that's not a good thing i would suggest anyone whoever is experiencing this stuff to solve the problem whichever way you know best to your abilities and as fast as possible i don't believe that brain comes with universal warranty i can tell you that there is a universal warranty from god that it's not like from sony that gives you two years guarantee or four years warranty for a product but brain comes with a warranty and if you do have this kind of problem chances are that somebody is doing you something you have that kind of problem for some reason uh there used to be all kinds of diseases uh in the past that are that were scientifically uh, justified um you didn't have to justify them scientifically you just had to fucking die or have your relatives die i guess say cholera or whatever might have been out there uh but in this new age there's been some kind of diseases that people already are taking them for granted like eh, it's okay it's 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 a uh, 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 like with the COVID nine oh what was it oh COVID nineteen oh COVID nineteen oh okay okay just know that it's a media that made the bow bow you know if I kill you with the uh, anthrax uh, or something else I use on you actually on somebody during I'm, it would not be the same i'm just saying this for illustration purposes during the COVID uh, outbreak you would not know the fucking difference 
on a death certificate will be written COVID. What exactly have I, as a government worker, used? Uh, you would have never find out about. Let's put it this way. Uh, there you have issues with hmm, uh, Alzheimer, and you have issues with uh, strokes, and you have the issues with Parkinson's disease, uh, for which many people don't actually, for the strokes, there are pills used that you can get them. Uh, for Parkinson's disease, there's people disagree that one even exists. Because it didn't exist in the past. Um, there is some people disagree with it. Um, there is diseases that never existed uh, in the past. I know that people are changing. I know that people develop diseases based on their sitting position, based on the type of work they do was not available in the past and so on. Uh, it's all kinds of stuff that's happening. Yes, I agree. If you type on a computer and you're not straight and this and that and, and uh, uh, or you are using a proper posture, you can have all kinds of issues with it. But, you know, um, human body, especially brain, are much, much, much tougher than what a mainstream media is trying to depict them. They come with a universal degree. It was God given to you, warranty that you only can void one. Pay attention where the fuck you sleep. If you have your doors locked when you sleep and that kind of stuff. Uh, if you can also try the difference between eating from your fridge and buying food, straight eating one straight from the supermarket, uh, whoever you have in your household, maybe or cleaner or uh, apartment manager having the access to your apartment and so on, you know. Pay your fucking attention to those issues because it's mainly it's mainstream media that voids that warranty and that's not going to help you out thanks for watching this video that's all i wanted to stress there are diseases for which many people don't even believe fucking exist there are man-made injuries all kinds of stuff that goes on and it's written in not in a medical encyclopedia or a prerochnik handbook or uh, how you say almanac, whatever. Um, once it's in there and you have it blown uh, through mainstream media, start to talk about that kind of issue. Um, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.